G'day, I'm Jeff and my wife and I have owned bush tracker caravans for uh, almost 20 years now and uh, we've had this one for a while, uh, just done a few mods to it that uh, others might find uh, useful. So about uh, five years ago I changed over my Waco fridge from the uh, original mechanical thermostat to an electronic thermostat and I've mounted mine in the uh, cabinetry here because uh, I like to be able to see what temperature the fridge is running at. Um, temperature's up a little bit now because I've had the fridge open uh, removing stuff out so I can uh, show you how it all works. Um, you could mount it inside the cupboard if you didn't want to actually have it outside where you can see it but I like the idea of being able to uh, see what temperature the fridge is running at. Now I've got it set at the moment to uh, four degrees and uh, I find that Pretty good now that's air temperature um, the original thermostat reads the back wall temperature of the uh, of the fridge so there is a hysteresis um, in it I've got the hysteresis set to one degree which means it'll go up to five degrees when the compressor cuts in um, and then come down to four degrees when the compressor will cut out again uh, so I mean we did run for a what quite a long time with it set to three degrees um, that's um, you know, nice and really cold, but we have found that you know, everything was keeping well still when it was set to four and uh, just uh, not running on the batteries quite so much. I've got lithiums, but I still like to, uh, to limit how long the fridge is running for all the time. So the uh, electronic controller has also got a, um, a delay function built into it that you can set. Um, I've got mine set to five minutes, so it means that if the compressor just cycles off, it's not going to start again um, if you've got the door open or whatever until it's timed out the, the five minutes. I just find that having it set like that, um, you get less ice build up on the back wall of the fridge, um, so you don't have to uh, defrost it quite so often. Um, and even when I get ice build up on the back, sometimes instead of emptying the fridge and defrosting it, I'll just um, turn the, uh, the controller on and off. Um, and then it'll have a five minute delay before starting up or I might even leave it off for a bit longer than that before I turn it back on. With this particular controller, to turn it on and off, it's just a matter of holding the, uh, the reset button in and uh, it goes off. And uh, I've still got the, uh, the wiring to, like the power to the light is still on. To turn it back on again, I'm just hold the uh, the reset key in there and you'll see that it's flashing um, that's in the timing function now so it'll time down to the, the five minutes and then the uh, compressor will kick in because it's uh, well above set point so I've got a little circulation fan in there as well which just helps with uh, stopping the, uh, the ice build up on the back wall quite so much and uh, the temperature sensor for the electronic controller is sitting here so as I said before it, it measures the air temperature inside the fridge um, whereas the original thermostat was actually measuring the, uh, the back wall temperature so I'll take this off and I'll show you how that's all wired up so I've taken out the two screws and then this module just slides forward enough to come off there you can see the wiring's exposed at the back there. So I used the existing wiring that came through from the fridge, so I didn't have to run any new wires. Uh, so you've got the original two wires that went to the original um, thermostat. Um, they're actually now connected to the temperature probe. And then uh, you've still got the, the light uh, connected here and the uh, power for the light um, is what's um, running the, uh, the little fan there so uh, pretty straightforward so this was blue tech that was just stuck there just to hold the wires in position while I put all this back again so that it don't, the wiring doesn't move around while I'm trying to put all this back so this was done as I said back in I think 2016 and I haven't had to touch it since the controller is mounted up there in the cabinetry and uh, the uh, wiring runs down to behind the uh, fridge to the compressor. 
Now the tricky bit's getting to the wiring at the actual compressor. Um, I had to remove the fan here. I don't want to do that again just to show you where the wiring is. Um, each fridge, I suppose, different model fridges is going to be a little different. But basically you've got to disconnect um, the original thermostat wiring, then use the two original wires that went to the original thermostat contacts as your um, temperature probe wiring, and then uh, use the uh, the contacts from the electronic thermostat um, to switch the compressor on and off. They'll connect to the terminals that originally uh, came from the uh, mechanical thermostat. So um, I hope that makes sense. I'll include a circuit diagram that uh, might make it a bit clearer. So this is the circuit diagram that I drew up for uh, my Danfoss uh, compressor and the uh, electronic controller that I'm using. So hopefully this info is useful and uh, cheers. Mm -hmm.